everyone, in this video we're going to work on exercises for pubic dysfunction. Um, pubic dysfunction is very common during pregnancy, especially during the later stages, and that's because there's just more weight and more pressure going down on our pelvis, and also due to hormonal changes and your body preparing for birth, um, the front uh, the pubic, where the pubic bones meet in your pelvis, that part just gets looser and it can cause a little bit of pain. While it is quite common, um, it's not something that you should just be normalizing. Um, there are many things that you can do to, to improve uh, this discomfort. So one thing is to stay away from single leg exercises and that is not just while working out. So everything that causes you to shift your entire weight on one leg like maybe putting socks on or pants on while standing. Stay away from that. You can do you can do while sitting down on the bed, for example. Um, also, if you're rolling uh, in bed or coming out of bed, try to keep your knees together as you roll on the side. On the other hand, what we do want to do is bring stability into the pelvis. And we do that by working and activating the muscles surrounding the pelvis, so the glutes, the hip flexors, and the adductors and the adductors. So let's get started with that. We're going to start in an all fours position. So nice and neutral spine. And very simple for the first exercise. We're going to inhale in a neutral position. So inhale here and on the exhale, you're going to tuck the tailbone under and scoop the core up. So it's a very small movement. A very simple release again on the inhale and again exhale tuck the tailbone under and scoop the core up so we're really only working on this region here the pelvic region Position. So, big inhale and on the exhale, we want to scoop the tailbone under. So, bring the tailbone up, scoop the core, and at the same time, squeeze the block. Now, I'm lifting a little bit off the floor, not very high, though, we're not doing a bridge. So, just barely lifting off the floor and coming back down. So, inhale, round the tailbone. Scoop the core up and squeeze the block. Hold for a few seconds. Release.
do a few more here. the block on the side for this next exercise we're staying on our backs but we are bringing the feet together and the knees out so again here inhale in a neutral position and on the exhale this time we're just going to be focusing on pushing the feet together the exhale push the feet together hold for a few seconds and then release Inhale, and on the exhale, push the feet together, and release. seated position so you can sit on a stability ball or on a chair or on the couch and then we're going to sit on the edge place the uh, block or the towel in between your knees and again here nice and neutral spine inhale and on the, on the exhale we're slightly activating the core the navel comes up slightly and we are squishing, really pushing against that block. Hold for a few seconds, release. Big inhale and on the exhale, squeeze those knees together, release. these exercises and um, try to do them uh, earlier in the day rather than later just because it will help you bring some stability for everything else that you have to do during the day. Uh, so yeah, I hope you find this helpful and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>